Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing seven stamping polishes from What's Up Nails. I've got three cream polishes, three holographic polishes, and one metallic polish. And these are meant to be stamping polishes, so I'm going to show you how well they stamp over white and black. But I'm also going to show you how they look swatched on their own. And to help me with this, I've got five stamping plates from What's Up Nails that I'll be using. And I'm going to be doing more nail art with these stamping plates and polishes later. But today I'm just going to share the swatches and how well these polishes stamp. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on into the video. And the first thing that I'm going to do before I paint my nails is remove this plastic protective layer from all the stamping plates so that they are ready to stamp. So I'm really excited about this first one because I've been on the lookout for a good, reliable black stamping polish for a really long time now, and this one did not disappoint. This is a classic black cream stamping polish from What's Up Nails called Neither Noir, and when swatched on its own, it was completely opaque in just one coat. And then I swatched this Skull Paisley design from the B063 stamping plate, and it picked up really nicely, even the small little details and I stamped that over white and over a silver polish because it's a black stamping polish so I didn't want to stamp it over a black. And I finished all of my swatches off with one layer of a fast drying top coat. And here is one coat of Neither Noir swatched on its own and stamped over white and silver. The second polish is called Gopher Guild and this one is a gold metallic stamping polish. So here I'm swatching it on its own and it was almost opaque in one coat but I feel like it just barely needed that second coat in order to cover up my nail line. And another thing I noticed about this polish was that there were some brush strokes as I was applying it but they disappeared mostly as the polish dried down. And to test how well it stamped I used the same stamping plate B063 except I stamped this snake image instead. And just like the black polish it stamped super nicely, it picks up really well and I stamped this one over both white and black. And here is Gopher Guild swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. Next up is Marooned in Color and this is described as a maroon cream stamping polish. This one was super opaque, it did need the second coat in order to build up to full opacity but with all of these polishes I would definitely recommend wearing a good base coat to prevent any staining. And for this polish I'm using the B041 stamping plate to stamp these hearts and arrows. It picked up the image really nicely and here I'm stamping it over both white and black. It definitely stamped better over the white and I was kind of worried that it wouldn't show up at all over the black, but it did and it showed up even better in person and after a layer of top coat. So here are two coats of marooned in color swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. The next one is called Not A Big Teal and this one is a teal cream stamping polish. I believe this one was released at the same time as marooned in color. And here swatched on its own, it is super pigmented and I probably could have gotten away with one coat, but for some reason when I did the swatches, I applied two. Mm -hmm. 
And to test how well this polish stamps, I'm using this super cute full-size succulent image from the B060 stamping plate. Again, I'm stamping it over both white and black, and no surprise here, it stamped super well over the white, but I was more impressed by how well it stamped over the black polish. So here are two coats of Not A Big Teal swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. Next up are the three holographic stamping polishes which are their newest releases starting with Welcome to Hollowood which is a silver linear holographic stamping polish. Here I swatched it in two coats and I'm probably going to be wearing this polish a lot just as a regular polish because the linear holographic in this is so pretty. I'm using the B065 stamping plate to stamp this really cool patterned tree image and again it picked up really nicely and I stamped it over both white and black. It stamped well over both, but the holographic was just so much more intense over the black polish than it was over the white. So here are two coats of Welcome to Hollywood swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. This one is called Baby Carrots and this one is a gold holographic stamping polish. I'd say this gold stamping polish is more of a scattered hollow than the last one but still really pretty and it was opaque in two coats when swatched on its own. And with this gold stamping polish, I stamped this dinosaur image from the B055 stamping plate. So here are two coats of Baby Carrots swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. And the last polish that I have to share is called Red All Over which is a beautiful red holographic stamping polish. This was another polish that was basically opaque in one coat but I felt that the second coat deepened the red a little bit more. And I use this red stamping polish to stamp some of these hearts from the What's Up Nails B041 stamping plate. And once again there were no issues with pickup and I stamped it both over white and black. I feel like when I stamped it over the white you could see that red color a lot better, but then when I stamped it over the black you could see the hollow a lot better. So here are two coats of red all over swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. And the hollow was a little bit hard to see in those other shots so here it is under a flashlight. Yeah. 
So here's one more look at the swatches of the seven stamping polishes from What's Up Nails. I stamp with black a lot, so I'm really excited to finally have a reliable black stamping polish in my collection. And I also really loved their three holographic stamping polishes that they recently released. They just had really good formulas and I'm probably going to be wearing them a lot just as regular polishes as well because they're so pretty. And I hope they come out with more colors soon because they did such a great job with these three holographics. And that's all for today's swatch video of the seven stamping polishes from What's Up Nails. Let me know which one is your favorite by leaving me a comment down below. And if you missed my last swatch video of What's Up Nails stamping polishes, I will leave a link to that on your screen and down below as well. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials, so be sure to subscribe down below. But anyways, that's all for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!